Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so let's talk about this lit Yoshi situation. Now, by now, most TBG fans and a lot of the NBA fans, and when I say NBA, I'm talking about NBA young boy and never broke again. Man, you heard about this report that was dropped by the news publication, The Advocate. Now, The Advocate is a Louisiana news publication, and they primarily cover Baton Rouge and New Orleans. Now, they've covered every aspect of the trials between, or excuse me, of the altercations or the run-ins between NBA and TBG, right? Now, for those of you who are lost, NBA is is a NBA gang or whatever you want to call them. I, I, I don't want like to say that anybody's a gang because I don't know them personally, but you know, that's NBA Young Boys group. And then, you know, you might also associate them with 4K Trey, but there is a separation. There's some differences there. We're not going to get into all that, but they also cover TBG and BBG. So TBG being Top Boy Gorilla Gang. And the advocate has probably covered this situation the most, besides just the, the local news there in Baton Rouge. And they've been covering the, the Lit Yoshi trial. Now, Lit Yoshi, real name, Mayoshi Tyree Edwards, he's got a trial coming up, I believe, today. And the advocate they wrote what some would consider a scathing report about Lit Yoshi. Now, I'm hoping nobody on that jury panel reads this report because, man, the picture that it paints of Lit Yoshi intentionally or unintentionally is pretty damaging to, you know, to his case. Now, even Fredo Bang had to come out and say something about this report and just call it, you know, a smear campaign or whatever towards Lit Yoshi. But we'll get to all that. Now, before we get into the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about my Yoshi Edwards, aka Lit Yoshi, just a little bit, man. Now, Lit Yoshi is, like I said, man, he's got his case coming up, and I believe it's, to, it's today. But man, you guys can tell me in the comments if I'm right or not. But man, let's talk about the report that the advocate wrote. So the advocate, they did this report and they basically detailed each situation that Lit Yoshi was involved in. So it starts off by saying, and we'll we'll go all the way up to and look at the heading. It says, or excuse me, the headline, and it said, Rap Group's feud spilled out on of Baton Rouge, left Miami bystander dead, prosecutors say. Now, for some of you who don't know what's going on there, there was a case that, ha or excuse me, a shooting that happened in 2019, and it was on Mother's Day, and it took place outside the Trump International Hotel in Miami, where TBG and NBA ran into each other. Lit Yoshi was there, and NBA Youngboy was there. And man, all we know is that, well, I can't even say for sure that Lit Yoshi was there. Nobody's ever substantiated the fact that he was there. He was seen in pictures with Fredo banging them a little earlier. I'm not putting them there. I don't know what's going on there, if you get my drift. But man, it's alleged that they both were there. And man, gunshots rang out. And this is what took place. So somebody allegedly from the TBG side started busting at at NBA Youngboy and them immediately, like upon seeing them, you know what I mean? Right outside the Trump International Hotel. And then NBA Youngboy's armed security, legal ar legally armed security, started busting back. And a gentleman lost his life who was a Hertz worker who was taking his break or something like that in his car. And he was just sitting in his car and one of the stray bullets struck him dead on arrival immediately, man. Sad situation, horrible, man. The, that is just a horrible situation for anybody and their family member because, I mean, it's just the luck of that situation because first they've got to meet up, which is awkward enough anyway, man, which is like one in a million. Then they got to start shooting at each other, and then you're just sitting in your car at the time that that happens. Man, rest in peace to that guy, man. Sad situation. That could have been anybody, right? So there's a lot of allegations that they're making in this report around that situation. Now, first... They talk about the fact that, you know, the feud between the two rap crews is what led to that shooting. Then they say, this is the big part right here. Now, this report says that while in prison, Edwards, meaning, uh, meaning Lit Yoshi, and another known TBG member make statements about the NBA group and the shooting February 3rd filing states. So essentially saying that Lit Yoshi and another TBG member were talking and not knowing that they were being recorded 
and we're basically, man, giving up all the goods on the phone, man. And this is, man, this is crazy, man. This got a lot of fan pages going wild. So essentially saying that Lit Yoshi snitched on himself, told on himself by, you know, not watching what he said. Now, a lot of people are coming out to criticize this and say that this isn't accurate because in the report, it continues to talk about all of Lit Yoshi's charges. Now, it does say this. It says that Edwards, 22, has not been charged in the Miami shooting, but he is charged with seven counts of attempted first-degree murder stemming from two Baton Rouge shootings last year that left three adults. Authorities have said that Baton Rouge shootings on April 6th and July 4th were related to the rap feud. Now, they're saying that's related to the NBA versus uh, TBG rap feud, right? And they just basically saying that Lit Yoshi was out here in the streets wilding, allegedly, man. I'm talking about seven different shooting this situation. Uh, that's, 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 that's wild, man. That's wild. And then the report continues, and it talks about the district attorney. So the assistant district attorney, Stuart Thoreau, in, in the court filing earlier this month, argues the video of Miami shooting and the prison phone call involving Edwards and another TBG member should be admissible at Edwards trial. So what they're trying to do is include the audio from the phone call, this alleged phone call. And I don't know why an assistant district attorney would be making up a phone call, but a lot of people don't believe that this took place. I don't know, man. It, it seems like it did take place. He, why in the world would he be arguing it in court? But I'll continue. So basically what the district attorney is trying to do is get all this added into his trial, his current trials that he has going on, his different cases, just in, so they can paint a picture to show people that, yo, man, look at this dude, man. He even went out of town and was while shooting things up, man, allegedly. And man, it looks like that that's what they're going for, man. I was, I, there's no other way to put it. Now, the report also continues to talk about all the people who have been lost in this whole TBG versus NBA situation. They reference G Money, of course, from the 2017 shooting. They talk about DeAndre Fields, and they also say, you know, talk about the case that Lit Yoshi has for a an alleged retaliation shooting on DeAndre Fields. Now, NBA Young Pap or NBA Pap or whatever you want to call him, DeAndre Fields, he was actually indicted last month. I did a whole video and a story about that. That was a huge deal. That's a big deal. You know what I mean? For, for G Money and his case, man. So DeAndre Fields is, is the alleged person who carried out that shooting, right? And then Lit Yoshi is actually on trial for shooting uh, DeAndre Fields. And they mentioned that in the report, man. So, man, Lit Yoshi is all over this re report. And they're talking about all the situations that took that took place, like and calling him the top enforcer for the TBG group. Now, I also did a video this summer where we talked about all of Lit Yoshi's cases and the fact that he got free on like $1.8 million bond. You can go back and check that video. I think it's fine work, but man, it doesn't look good for Lit Yoshi in this report. And a lot of people are going crazy about the fact that it alleges that he actually told on himself. Now, Fredo Bang must have heard all the ruckus or got some type of mentions or something sent to him because he went to social media to talk about this and he said this Alfredo Bang man he always has some pretty witty and smart responses man and he said this he said just a prosecution tactic to make the defendant look bad before court all cap so he's basically saying that this report and all the information that's being uh, told to the media by the assistant DA is all cap and it's just there to make Lit Yoshi look bad before his trial starts this week. And I mean, I you know, that's that's not far fetched. I mean that that tactic has been used in the past a lot. And man, if his lawyers are on top of it, and it seems like Lit Yoshi's lawyers are, are on top of it and they're fighting this the best way that they can. I don't know who's funding Lit Yoshi's case, but whoever they are, they've they've always been there to bail him out. And they've also been there to make sure that he had the best legal representation available. So, man, it's probably Fredo Bang or somebody. I don't want to put that on Fredo Bang, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want it to seem like Fredo Bang is funding some type of legal illegal activity that we can't prove that he is, man. I, I'm not putting that out there at all. But, man, this is an interesting situation. And I think as Lit Yoshi's trial goes on, we're going to learn a lot and a lot more details. But right now, they are gunning for NBA 
and TBG. They already said that they feel that they're a gang. They've also doubled down on that in this report. And they're trying to connect them, or they've said they've already connected them with the help of federal authorities to the shooting in Miami in 2019. Now, all the shootings between here and there have been somehow involved in Yoshi, and they're trying to, it looks real bad for them as far as this is concerned. But what do you guys think? Do you think Lit Yoshi was just way too active out there in the streets? I mean, when you read all the different shootings, it's like, man, when did this dude take a break? If all this was true, you know, this all alleged, but, or do you think that a lot of these charges are trumped up and his name is being thrown in there just because his name is popular with TBG and that association. Now with that, this being your boy, big man, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. So that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content and we out of here. Peace.